Live from WTKR News 3, News 3 This Morning starts right now. Sirens ringing out across Ukraine this morning, a warning sign of the danger that is happening right now. Russia officially invading Ukraine overnight following weeks of buildup and tension. Our newsroom is keeping track of the reports of explosions in several Ukrainian cities. An advisor to the president says at least 40 people have died in the attacks. We are also this morning watching the trickle down effect from this invasion. The president vowing to hold Russia responsible. But what does that really mean for us thousands of miles away? All that covered for you this morning here on News 3 at 6 o'clock. Thanks for joining us. I'm Blaine Stewart. And I'm Jessica Larche. A lot to catch you up on this morning. And we will get to the uh, Russian invasion of Ukraine in just a moment. But first, we take an eye here at home by checking in with meteorologist Miles Henderson. Looking at the drastic drop in temperatures as we begin on this Thursday morning. Yeah, today is one of those good days you have to dress for today's weather, not yesterday's weather. Very different picture for us this morning. We're in the 40s out there right now. 48 in Virginia Beach, 43 in Norfolk, 42 for Newport News. We're at 44 degrees in Hampton this morning. 51 is our hot spot for Edenton, but even that's at least 10 degrees colder than yesterday morning. Temperatures will basically stay where they are. We're going to linger in the 40s for most of the day. So by this afternoon, it's going to end up being 20 to 25 degrees colder than yesterday afternoon. Big drop for today. Plenty of clouds out there right now, but we're mostly dry. So if you're headed out for your morning drive, not going to see much rain this morning. This afternoon, different story. Look what's off to our west. Those showers are sliding in our direction and will be building in mainly for the second part of today. So just a couple scattered showers later this morning. Those rain chances pick up as we get closer to midday. There's 11 o'clock into the afternoon hours, 1 o'clock. Solid rain chances we go through this afternoon to the early evening. So your trip home this afternoon, definitely going to be more on the soggy side. So from a 30% chance this morning to a 70% chance this afternoon, temperatures much cooler in the 40s and a little breezy. Northeast winds 10 to 15. We'll talk about another warm up to the 70s coming up in just a few minutes. Now at 602, let's get a first morning traffic update showing you a live view of the traffic on the Norfolk side of the HRBT. This 64 right at 13th view. Things are looking good so far in all of the overwater crossings. No crashes to report on the interstate. There's the big picture map and all green. That is good news. Do have one scheduled bridge lift coming in. That's going to be at the Berkeley Bridge in Norfolk this morning at 9 o'clock. It's now 602. I want to give you a live look at what's happening right now in the capital of Ukraine, Kyiv, this morning, where just hours ago, many people in that nation woke up to the news of Russia's overnight invasion. Russia's president, Vladimir Putin, announcing that military campaign just moments before Ukraine's president pleaded for peace. Take a look at your screen. The tweet reads, we will give weapons to anyone who wants to defend the country. Be ready to support Ukraine in the squares of our cities. Ukraine's president also announcing this morning his country has cut diplomatic ties with Russia. Before long, explosions were heard in multiple Ukrainian cities. So far, our newsroom has learned 40 people have been killed in those attacks. U.S. President Joe Biden tweeting overnight, promising to hold Russia responsible. And this morning, reporter Bradley Blackburn has the latest. Russia's invasion of Ukraine is now underway. Explosions were seen and heard across the country overnight. Russian President Vladimir Putin announced the start of the offensive in a pre-dawn speech. Putin said the action was necessary to protect civilians and restore order. He said Russia's goals include the, quote, demilitarization and denazification of Ukraine. Putin called on the Ukrainian military to surrender and warned other nations not to interfere. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky appeared on television as the invasion got underway. He urged people not to panic and said he had just spoken with President Biden. The White House condemned what it called an unprovoked and unjustified attack by Russia. Here at the United Nations, diplomats gathered for an emergency security council meeting. It's the council's second emergency meeting this week on Ukraine. We're here for one reason and one reason only, to ask Russia to stop. During last night's session, the Ukrainian ambassador confronted his Russian counterpart. There is no purgatory for war criminals. They go straight to hell, ambassador. 
The Security Council is expected to vote on a resolution against Russia today. However, it is unlikely to pass because as a permanent council member, Russia holds veto power. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. And as we told you here on News 3, one of the first major impacts we will feel from this invasion is more pressure on already high gas prices. But why is that? Blaine, break this down for us this morning. Last thing we want to hear this morning, right? We know gas has been climbing for a while now, even before there was that conflict between Russia and Ukraine. So I want to show you the breakdown of the numbers right now. In Virginia, current average for a gallon of gas is $3.40. That's right now. Compare that to a month ago when our average was $3.16. Quick math here, that's about 24 cents a spike in just one month. And check out North Carolina. They've seen an even bigger jump. North Carolina current average of $3.45 a gallon. Look at that. One month ago, it was $3.12. That's up 33 cents. The invasion in Ukraine, just the latest factor making these gas prices go up. So why is that? So let's break it down. For one, there's a high fuel demand around the world and a limited gas supply. The current sanctions in Russia only adding to that issue, all of it pushing the price for a barrel of oil towards $100. A gallon of gas nationwide now costs an average of $3.53. And it's not just gas, the cost of heating oil is also going up, costing about 47% more to warm up your home this winter than it did one year ago. Ouch. Keep in mind, Russia is a major exporter of oil and natural gas, selling 12 and 17% of the global supply of each. So, you know, whatever the economic punishment Russia receives in the coming weeks, Jessica, it's likely to put increasing pressure on the global supply chain, which we know is already very fragile right now. Yeah, and speaking of that, the U.S. is doing what it can to help strengthen supply chain by giving ports a financial boost, too. The White House is giving ports in the U.S. a $450 million grant program aimed toward improving the nation's supply chain. Officials say the funds will be used to help expand capacity and improve resilience for imports and exports. We're told the plan is to help get products from ships to shelves quicker, which will lower the prices for us. The grants aren't out just yet, but we are expected to get to the ports later this year. This morning, a man who has been a champion of one local HBCU is stepping down after nearly 45 years. As part of our celebration of Black History Month, News 3 anchor Barbara Sierra gives us a look inside at Dr. William Harvey's time in Hampton University and the legacy he is leaving behind. 